Hey there. So I'm with the Jira's walkthrough tutorials right now. And like I said in previous tutorial, I'm going to give you walkthrough for creating a new project and then managing that project. So but if you are logged into your Jira dashboard, check the admin panel here in the right bottom. You can adjust any way you want. However, it is by default in the right side. So just go to the link of create new. Open a new tab or click on it. You will be asked for the password. Enter the password. And it should take you to the new project. Let's say Devanami web app. So second thing is to remember is key of the project. Let's type Devanami one and now add the project. we have two character project here so let's get it to work so our project is now created so once you see the project created you will be redirected to the page like this where you will see the name of your project and type of issue that you can raise people assigned to your project the project lead right now is me default assignee is project lead roles can be assigned from here then for version type you can assign version one two three four for the project here workflow is explained here where you can assign the task in progress or result also get the components added in the project like database user interface while you can check these components uh, and their status in the project then the permissions assigned for each task or who is accessing which part of the project and working on the issue screen is uh, basically this is the different type of screens that are shown or viewed while in the workflow and the settings for version control and additional text fields that if you want to add and notifications so first we will start with our project okay so we have devnabi web app as our first project so thing to do here is let's create a new version for our web app web app 1.0 description first 
version of web app release date 29th of this month click on add it should add as first version now let's get back to the project page you'll find that the version related information is added here now let's add people in our project user one should be here let's remove from administrator and add to tester group and click on update now user one is in group tester devnami is also in testers so let's let's remove this from here and in test group we will add user 1 ok and this should be here okay. update now we have Nami and user 1 are in test group so let's get back to the project and check the changes Okay, so we have our roles adjusted here. Now add the component. First component should be Android app. Description app on Android platform. Component lead will be user one. And project default it's project lead default assignee is Devanami add ok so this is our component database should be the next which is SQLite now component lead will be again user 1 assignee should be the same Okay, so two components are added. Let's go back and check on our project tab. Okay, so we have two components version that we can also assign permission scheme. Okay, so let's keep the default as is. If you want to do any additional changes to the roles of administrator and users you can do from permission scheme also you have notifications if you have email notifications configured with mail server configurations you can edit this right now I don't have that so I'm not configuring notifications then you have settings for project configuration like CVS models we don't have CVS setup so I will leave those settings then we have information fields different issues can have different information fields so and this is the place to add new information to those fields like let's say if we have those version assigning comment description environment so by default the fields are enough if you want to add a new field just click on this icon at the right side then select icon so when you click on it you will be able to assign or edit then let's come back to the project then check for the screen the screens allow you to arrange the fields to be displayed on issue. Different screen used when an issue is created, viewed, edited or trans transitions through workflow. So let's first check the workflow. 
so whatever the practice our team or we are following should be part of our workflow so when we create a new task or report a bug or improvement of feature set and we will be able to get our workflow and able to modify that current workflow scheme is given by Jira if you have your company or your own small scale business has its own workflow for raising those features or bug or defect then you can follow that so this is pretty much the project management side uh, in another tutorial I am giving specific attention to raising bug defect feature improvements tasks and subtasks so I hope you are enjoying this series and I will see you in the next tutorial till then bye